we gotta make a tow hitch. It comes up under here. Making this a tow hitch for my buddy's uh, my buddy's truck real quick. I'm gonna take some measurements and then uh, we'll start cutting some steel. Couple angle irons here, which is this stuff. Some pretty heavy, heavy duty stuff. Three eighths thick, four by three. And basically, it's gonna go like this with the angle out, and it's gonna run right here. All right, we just gotta clean some of this shit up. So I just got it clamped up right next to the frame mill rail. I'm just checking to see where I can drill some holes because I'm going to weld it to the frame, but I'm also going to put some uh, some bolts through it just to be safe. Um, the sheer strength of a bolt is always stronger than a weld, actually. Welds are uh, prone to cracking. So uh, I'm going to like double and maybe even triple pass this thing with 7018, which will probably never crack. But just as a peace of mind, I'm going to throw some, some uh, grade A bolts through it. It's looking pretty good to me. So I'm gonna run a, a weld right here and then we're gonna run a couple bolts through here. We're gonna run a cross member across. Just drilled some holes in the corner and uh, I'm gonna cut this out with my grinder. I'm gonna try to cut it out with my grinder. We'll see, I might have to pull out my plasma. Oh man, this fucking helmet, dude. So I bought this helmet. It's a, it's a pretty expensive helmet. I haven't even had it a year yet and it's already broken. Fucking Lincoln, dude. My last Lincoln helmet lasted me like five years. This one didn't even last a year. Uh, the It's a Viking. The back end of it, part of it just snapped, broke. And look, you know, it's made out of plastic. I don't know. The reason I bought this because it has the uh, it has an external button on the outside that you can press for grinding. It's on the outside of the helmet rather than reaching in with your your grummy hands. Um, and all in all, the the helmet works well, but the the head the headband broke. Like not even, and I, I mean I don't even use this thing as much as I use my old one. My old one was bare bones, like uh, bottom of the line. This thing was uh, 500 bucks, and it didn't even last me. I I want to say I got it six months ago, man. Bummer. Kind of got it to work. We'll see if that works. Got yeah, a little bit of a problem. It doesn't seem like the bed's uh, totally straight, so I'm gonna have to finagle it a little bit. Okay, right. 
All right, I just tacked them both in place so I can take my, uh, my clamps off. Alright, we're tacked. We've got those two pieces tacked. Now we're gonna put the cross member across. Build that up and then I'll grind it down and clean it up. All right, so I just measured off of here. So this is two inches, and then I, you know, this is a two and a half inch. So it's one and a quarter, one and a quarter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch it real quick. What's up everybody? We're just finishing this up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bust a few more welds up on the frame and then I'm gonna put some bolts actually just where it connects just to just for safety. Move this stuff out of the way. 
but yeah hey so if you're still here hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave us a comment below uh let us know what you think thanks for watching enjoy the rest of the video Squaring this thing up and then I'm using this magnet to keep it all flush. Yeah, just keep everything flush. Let's do this. So you need some welding rod, huh? I'm gonna weld these D-rings on. I'm gonna uh, put a couple bolts in the thing and we're done. Last two bolts and then we're cleaning up. Hey, I just put some bolts in just to be safe. Came out pretty good. Uh, could haul a tank with this fucking thing for sure. Yeah, that's it. Done, ski. And connect it to the frame. All right, we're done. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, yeah, look at my little buddy that I just found. <laughs> Want to help me weld? He's like, hell no, I'm out of here. All right, let's get out of here. Next.